here his ability to score in those difficult situations <sighs> down low with lots of bodies around don't <sighs> old boy <laughs> What it do, Boogie Squad? <laughs> it's your boy L Boogie with a hoodie. And I'm back with another video, man. Back with another spiritual inspiration. As you know, when God speaks, you listen. So I ain't gonna do a lot of talking, man. The verse we have for today is Mark 11 and 24. Ye. Yeah. And it reads, I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. I like that. Let me let me just elaborate on that for a little bit. <laughs> oh shoot! But yeah, uh, like the scripture says, you have to believe that you've already received whatever it is you're praying to God for. If I'm praying to God for a job. I have to believe that this job is about to call me in the next two minutes. Like it's it's all about faith, really. You gotta have faith. Faith the size of a mustard seed. And if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move a mountain. And I just find that amazing because if your faith is the size of a mustard seed and you can move a mountain, imagine what you could do if it's the size of your hand or whatever, something bigger, you know? And a scripture to tie into the one we just read would be First Thessalonians. I hope I'm saying it right. First Thessalonians 5 and 17. And it reads, never stop praying. That's what we have to do, bro. We have to never stop praying. I mean, pray through the good days. Pray through the bad days. Pray when things going good. Pray when things going bad. Pray when you're happy. Pray when you're sad. You know, you just got to pray. And I look at it like, like I've always said, if you got an exam that's due, you're going to study, study, study until you know that you absorb all the information you need in order to pass that exam, right? Right. So it's the same way. God's going to send a storm your way to test to see if you're strong enough to overcome it. You're praying the whole time. Pray, pray, pray. You're asking God to strengthen you whatever you are. In whatever spot you are weak in it, ask God to strengthen you, give you everything you need to overcome this storm. So when the storm come, when the storm come, instead of, instead of, you know, being defeated, you're going to conquer it. You know, and, and one thing I want to say is never give up, bro. Never give up. You know, stand 10 toes down. Walk on your feet, walk 10 toes down, stand on that. But when that storm hit and if it's too much to bear, I promise you, stand two knees down. Yeah, you heard me right. If you can't do it standing 10 toes down, do it standing two knees down. I promise you, you're, you're 10 times stronger when you're on your knees giving God the things praying to God, asking him to help you with whatever it is you need help with, bro. I'm telling you, man, this is me, bro. This, this is me. The, the passion you feeling right now for me when I'm talking about the word of God, this is me. This is all of me. This is the way I've always thought from the age of 10 until now. This is how I always thought, bro. I just never say anything. I'm real quiet. I just absorb everything. My dad is a preacher, and I promise you, when I see him preach, bro, it, it gives me joy because everything he's saying is coming straight from the Bible. And not only that, everything he's saying, he's walking the walk. 
the walk of faith, bro, the walk with God. And I promise you, you know, it fills my heart with joy. And, and you know, it's kind of it's kind of crazy, you know, to be the son of your dad, but be proud of him as if he's your son. You know, it's crazy, but I am extremely proud of my dad. I'm extremely proud of my mom as well because she overcome her fear of stage fright and she get up and she'll preach a word. I'm so proud of them, bro. And they motivate me to want to encourage y'all as well, bro. I want to be able to touch somebody spiritually to where I uplift their spirit for the rest of the week. That's what I aim for. Every spiritual inspirational video I post, that is what I aim for. I aim to inspire, bro. I'm not here to tear nobody down i'm not here to joke about anybody you know i'm here to inspire i mean i'm here to make you laugh i'm oh shoot i'm here i'm here i'm here bro i hope y'all have a blessed day man i might just sit here because i hurt my butt I, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. Ding, ding, ding. Hit that bell, man. <sighs> We're going up. We're definitely going up. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Yeah!